All right, we have our bagels with cream cheese. I'm using the everything bagels, but you can use whatever bagels you prefer. And we are just cutting our bagels up into small pieces. I like to add the cream cheese in prior, but you can add them after if you wanna spend the extra time doing so. Okay, let's get these cut up into small pieces. All right, we're gonna move this to the side and bring in our greased muffin tin and we are gonna place our little bagel pieces right in there, just like so. Really squish in your bagel pieces to fill up our muffin tin. Ooh, this is gonna be an amazing and delicious breakfast. All right, let's get this going so we can be ready for our guests that are on their way. Okay, got that last one filled up. This is looking delicious already. Now we're gonna come in with our cooked bacon and we are gonna cut some of our bacon right into our little muffin holes with our bagels. Oh, this is gonna be so good. You can use whatever breakfast meat you prefer. You could use a sausage or a ham, but I personally love bacon the most, so that's why I chose it. But we're getting a generous amount of bacon in each of these cups. We don't want them to be overflowed because we have other goodness coming in, but these are gonna be delicious no matter how much you put in here. All right. That last one is gonna get extra bacon. Now I'm gonna come in with my three cheddar blend and we are gonna put a little bit of cheddar on each of our little bagel pull aparts. Oh. I've, I've never seen that cheese before. Oh yeah, it's just from Target, it's the Target brand, but I love a triple cheddar, so that's why I went ahead and grabbed it. Just makes the dish look a little bit more elevated with the different colors of cheese. But obviously, you can do whatever cheese you like. You could do a Colby Jack. You could do a dairy-free cheese if you're, you know, lactose intolerant. But I just stuck with my favorite. Ooh, okay, how does that look? It looks phenomenal. I, I love mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah, me too. Now we want to add a little bit of freshness and color. We have some green onion here that we chopped up, and we're just gonna sprinkle that where it will fit. Okay, we're almost done here. We just have one more step after this that will really pull this entire breakfast together. Ooh, these green onions smell amazing. We love some bagels, we love cheese. We love everything that's going on right now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Beautiful. Now we're gonna put this to the side. We are gonna grab six eggs here, just six. We have some half and half and we are gonna put a little bit of half and half in there. About two to three tablespoons of half and half. We are gonna add some garlic powder, but you can season your eggs however you want. I love garlic. You guys know if you follow me that I am the garlic queen. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. I'm keeping it pretty simple and standard with my eggs today, but like I said, you can season how you like. And you guys know, you gotta add the salt. Everything tastes better with just, just a little bit of salt, okay? It won't kill you. Always season your eggs. Yeah. Now it is time to scramble. Oh, oh my gosh. Scramble these eggs. Sometimes I have to do a light scramble so that I don't make a big mess, okay, you guys? So if you are critiquing my whisking right now, it's just a precaution so I don't splatter everywhere. But look at that beautiful egg color. That is what we're looking for. We want a fully scrambled egg so that we can pour this over our bagel mixture. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna be a game-changing breakfast that you are gonna wanna make every Sunday brunch. Okay, that is looking just about right. Go ahead and bring back our muffin tin. And you guys know it. We're just gonna pour a little bit right into our muffin tins. Nothing crazy. Okay, let's see, did I skimp out on any of these? Maybe this one. In the middle back one. Perfect. All right, you guys. I am a 
clean when you're done kind of girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. My oven is set to 350 and these are gonna be in there for 30 minutes. Oh my, if you guys could smell these, they smell incredible. All right, so I did use a silicone muffin tin, which means I can just pop these right out. Oh my, okay. Let's go ahead and get these ready so that we can try them. It has everything you need in it. Woo. Okay, let's go ahead and take a big bite. That egg is perfectly cooked too. Is it good? Mm. No words. <laughs> that is really good. Mm. You guys gotta try it.